Comment les sociétés traditionnelles adaptent to climate change and to global change, which is affecting our century. I shall examine this through a society of hunter-gatherers of the Central African rainforest, the Aka pygmies, who use natural biodiversity for subsistence and have been living for thousands of years in a very narrow interaction with farmer societies of the same region. In order to analyze climate change, we shall examine the importance of seasons and the climate in the daily lives of the Aka people. They live in the south of the Central African Republic, a tropical region receiving about 1,700 millimeters of rainfall, a stable temperature all year round, around 25 degrees Celsius. There are two seasons, a dry season and a rainy season. Meteorologists, by convention, define the rainy, the dry season in relation to the temperature, which uh, leads us to see that there are three months of dry season and nine months of rainy season, while the Aka people themselves perceive seasons in a more concrete manner, in terms of uh, the discomfort it creates. If it rains too often, it disturbs their activity. It plays. If it rains every other day, they consider that that gives a four-month-long rainy season. Nuts or mushrooms are available all year round because there are a great number of species that can be gathered and consumed. But the season have influence on uh, some of the gathering activities that are important in terms of nutrition and socially. Honey, which is collected in the dry season, and caterpillars for a few months of the rainy season. The same goes for the multiple hunting techniques used for different preys and which mobilize variable social groups. There are group meetings, for instance, for net hunting in the dry season or scattered when they are hunting large mammals with, uh, with spears. Small individual hunts um, for monkeys uh, com to complete the food supply but are not markedly seasonal. A few natural elements are indicators of seasonal change and of the availability, availability of resources and trigger the start of some activities and the moving around of encampments. When a tree begins to flower, it marks the peak of honey production and the appearance of some very small yellow or red caterpillars is an indication of the start of most uh, species of moths consumed. And this results in the uh, triggering of a number of activities uh, practiced by, engaged in by all of the uh, population of a particular encampment. So uh, climate change, climate disturbance is probably going to disturb biological cycles and the use of such activities and probably disturb the Aka people's life, way of life. But they do not really perceive that and they do not complain. Conversely, uh, in the last few centuries, the Aka experienced very deep economic change entirely conditioned by the needs of uh, European colonizers. These economic transformations, uh, the needs of Europe resulted in significant modifications of the relationship of the Aka people with their neighbors, especially in terms of hunting. In the 18th, 19th century, Europe was eager to obtain ivory and the Aka people became permanent elephant hunters. In the early 20th century, the Europeans were keen to find rubber, which led to forced labor for a lot of farmers in the region. And during that period, the Aka would hunt to uh, provide supply to the villagers who could no longer do so. After World War II, uh, Europe needed leather and uh, looked for antelope skins in Africa. And then the Aka people became permanent antelope hunters with uh, uh, nets, particularly. As for uh, the current period, it is witnessing major modifications in the structure of the forest itself, which is being exploited uh, for timber, or conversely, entirely protected in the form of national parks. And in both cases, daily activity for the Aka people is either limited or entirely prohibited.
So the global change is considerably more significant for the Aka, who are gradually losing their access to their territories and means of subsistence without nothing much in compensation. So in their view, it's much more important than climate change, which remains difficult, difficult to perceive at the present moment. Thank you.